We continue our coverage of Indo Defense in Jakarta, Indonesia. We are now on the booth of Turkish company Aeromag. Uh, they are launching uh, two new and very interesting uh, systems relating to mine warfare. One is a counter mine system, and the other one is an actual sea mine to counter USBs. So, very uh, interesting products. To find out more about them, we are meeting with the marketing director of the company. Ali, we are. Ali, good morning. Thank you for welcoming us. No, no problem at all. How are you doing to this morning? I'm good, thank you. So, uh, please tell us more about your uh, two products, starting with the, the one to counter sea mines. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. So, this is a, like you said, a anti sea mine product. It's mainly for floating mines, so uh, anti floating mine product. How it works is we have a bib at the top here where a quadcopter or any drone can basically pick it up, fly it over to a floating mine, and drop it on there. The feet here are a magnetic feet, so it latches on to the mine. And at the bottom here, the cone, is a copper cone that is inverted with an explosive at the base. As soon as we latch it onto the mine, the operator can pick up the remote, uh, pair it to the device, and explode at will. And the way that works is the, the explosive inverts the cone and it kinetically hits the mine, exploding the mine. So basically, this gives us the advantage of the diver not being any, any, in any risk, which is a big problem in the sector, as everybody knows. So that's a very, indeed, safe way, very novel way, because I believe it's probably very cost efficient as well. Very cost efficient compared to traditional methods very cost efficient, but more importantly, very safe. You know, the, the hardest thing in any military is replacing the manpower rather than the, uh, you know, products. So this is a, a solution for that. What about the, the, this system? So that's an actual sea mine, but in a small size because it is uh, designed to counter USBs. Correct. It's a very small sea mine. It's only three kilo explosive. So, compared to a regular sea mine, it's very, very tiny. But the advantage is similar to this one. We can drop them from the top with quads, many of them, 50, 100, 200, whatever you need to cover an area, either for anti USVs or a, you know maybe a shoreline that you expect some action to happen. And the way this works is, I'm just going to pick it up real quick. So at the bottom here, we have a, a anchor. It, it doesn't keep it in place, but it keeps it moving a lot less than what it would normally. And here there is a white thread. I don't know if you can see that from the camera, but it's a water soluble thread. So after we drop this in the water, that disappears and it opens like, up like a starfish. These threads are made out of polyethylene. So it's a very strong material and it just opens and waits for something to hit it. As soon as the threads get hit, there's a sensor inside and it explodes. So the thread has two benefits. One, to extend the range of the product, but also to get caught up in a propeller or anything like that if, if it's a propeller uh, USV, propeller uh, USV. And the biggest advantage of this product is, similar to this product, we can use a remote and activate them, detonate them, or deactivate them at will. So if there is a situation where the USB doesn't come or it is no longer necessary, we can deactivate all or manu manually uh, detonate all and clear the area, which is, as you know, the biggest problem with mines. Also, the, uh, uh, the another big benefit is actually deployment cost. So deploying these are comparatively very cheap. You don't need a dedicated mine ship. You don't need a dedicated mine crew. You just need you know, one or two drones and the mines, and that's it, and a controller. And uh, Ali, do, what's the current uh, status? Uh, is it ready for production? Do you have customers yet? Or you are here in Indonesia to promote the product to a very archipelagic uh, country? So the last thing you said, so we're here in Indonesia uh, showing the product off because we think it's going to be a very big product here and it's going to be very influential to Indonesia. But the product is done its development. The only thing we're uh, 
tweaking right now is actually the explosive on this product. So here, the explosive is very basic uh, because it's only meant to invert the cone, so we don't need any shrapnel inside. It's just, uh, it's just the uh, e explosion. He here, though, we would like to do as much damage to the USV or the vehicle that is hitting it as, as possible. So we have our own in-house uh, designers for this to design the explosive and the shrapnels. So uh, I don't know if anybody knows this here, but uh, the ex explosive and the damage is not caused by the actual explosive, but the shrapnel that we use. So we're testing out uh, you know, different sized tungsten bits, some steel shards, uh, to get the largest effects that we can. And that is, uh, actually our design is done. We just need to do our filling and explos uh, explosion testing. So we expect another three months before we're 100% ready with this product. And this product is 100% ready right now. Very well, Ali. That was uh, very clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.